Pamela, tell me one identity we're going to be using. I don't know where you're sitting now. There you are. The quotient identity for which one? Correct. Quotient identity. What is the quotient identity, Pamela, for the cotangent? Co what? Cosine theta over sine of theta. Thank you. Jose? What do you think is another identity we'll be using? The reciprocal identity for what? What is the reciprocal identity for cosecant? On the side over here, you can see that. I'm kind of writing out by color what's happening. Cosecant of theta equals 1 over sine theta. Cotangent of theta equals cosine over sine theta by the quotient identity. And I have sine here. So basically, to simplify these, we're just changing them all into sine and cosines. We're changing them in all to what class? Sine and cosines. Sine and cosines. How do you make sine here a fraction? Remember, when there's multiplication here, you can cross-cancel. And if there's nothing left there, you're just left with 1. Here in the denominator, we have cosine over sine. Uh, if you struggle with fractions over fractions, it might be helpful just to make your fraction bar a different color. Let's go ahead and turn this sideways now. 1 divided by... <coughs> Notice here I'm not changing them yet. This one turns into... So I have 1 times... Sine over cosine... So essentially, you're just left with sine over cosine. And we know that sine over cosine is? Tangent of theta. How did you know it was tangent? <coughs> what identity is that called? Quotient identity. Now, just like the potato... You can cook the potato in many ways. In this problem, you could have simplified in many ways. Um, on my Google Slides, they used 1 over tangent. And if that just flips, you'll realize that just becomes tangent. So to simplify these, just change them into sine and cosines. Use your identities, and you should have a nice, clean answer when you're done.